Now, of course, for this, we're going to be using OBS copy the URL. So just right click and select copy. And now we've got the live sub account here. And I do actually have a bonus view, which is where I made a little backdrop or an overlay for your subscriber accounts. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add the live subscriber account to your live streams. Now, of course, for this, we're going to be using OBS. For those that don't know what it is, it's a free software which allows you to record and also live stream. So the website we're going to be using is known as freewebtools.com slash live subcount. A link to it will be in the description. So quite simply, once you get to this website, all you need to do is select the name part and simply type in any channel you'd want to. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it as PewDiePie simply because his subscribe account is always moving and of course you'll be able to see the difference. So once you're here, all you need to do is come to the top, copy the URL. So just right click and select copy. And from there, we're going to head over to OBS. So here we are on OBS and it's actually recording the screen I'm currently on. So here we go. What you want to do is first of all, select your scene and then head over to the sources tab and simply select the plus button and then you want to select browser from here you can just call this live sub count anything you want to doesn't really matter and simply select ok and where it says url what you want to do is just highlight this and press ctrl v which is pasting in the url you copied earlier and select ok so as you can see just give it some time and of course it will then load up so we've now got the live sub count here. Of course, it doesn't look the best at the moment simply because it's just the way it is. We need to crop it and of course position it better. So in the sources section, right click it and select filters. Under effect filters, select the plus and select crop slash pad. From here, you can leave the same name and select OK. And now we're going to be cropping it in from the left, the top, right and the bottom. Now with OBS, we don't have a way to just drag it. We literally have to work with the numbers. So it's a bit of guesswork. So I'm going to do this for you and I'll get back to you. So there we go. This is the number I've got to, which seems to have been working the best. And as you can see, this is the numbers I've got right here. And I'm sure most people who are watching this don't have over 100 million subscribers. So of course, your numbers would be a bit different. Anyway, from here, just let close. Then you've got this. So you can just drag it wherever you want to. You can see the background is already off it. It is literally just the text by itself. And I do actually have a bonus for you, which is where I made a little backdrop or an overlay for your subscriber accounts. So in the link below, there is also a download link, which will allow you to download this completely for free. And of course, I will be putting the Photoshop link there as well. So if you do want to edit the colors, you can do so how you want to. So from here, you want to select plus and you want to select image. You can just name it overlay, select OK. From here where it says image file, you want to select browse. And of course, just find wherever you saved it or if you've already got one. And as you can see, this is what is here. You can choose where you want the sub counter and you can choose if you've also got a face cam. Then I've also added an overlay for face cams as well. So I'm just going to use a sub counter. And as you can see, this is it. I'm going to select OK. Now, very important, you can see the overlay is actually on top of the live sub count. We want to drag this below. So as you can see, the text is more dominant, so you can see it easier. Then you just want to drag and drop this into the middle and of course, resize it accordingly. So it fits in just right. And there you go. That is it now completed. You're ready to live stream. You're ready to record. That live subscribe account is not going to go anywhere. That is going to stay there the entire time you're recording or you're streaming. And then this website right here, you don't actually need to leave it open. You can just simply close out of it. As you can see, I've exited out of it. And of course, we've still got our live stream here. So no need to keep that open. So here you go. I've just completely changed the background for you so you can see how it looks. This is the previous video thumbnail I used. And of course, as you can see at the bottom left, we've got the live subscriber account. We've also got the live subscriber there as well. And that is it. That is how simple it is to set up. And you can see it looks pretty nice as well. Now, if you want to request a tutorial or you need any guidance, feel free to message me on social media and I'll try my best to help you.